Originally, I was working on the engineering side. I was kind of used to going into places where a physician lead would come in and say, you know, I have this particular problem, and then I'd work on a team of engineers and we'd come up with some sort of medical device solution to fix it. We found out about a competition that was being run out of Boston. They were giving away much bigger grants than what we were used to working with and we decided to go for it. So one of the main hurdles is that it had to be a primary care innovation. So we decided to adapt our 3D imaging technology more to skin. And as it turns out, my co-founder and I had both done skin cancer research in high school. So it was something that we knew a little bit about dermatology. We knew a lot about skin cancer specifically, and it became kind of a perfect fit of, you know, no one's really doing 3D imaging for dermatology conditions. And so we created this device that could take very good, uh, realistic looking 3D images of skin conditions. And we tested it in a small clinical study. We ended up winning that prize, which, uh, which helped just to kind of keep going with it. And we realized that in creating this device that could realistically look at skin, the biggest use case for it is not actually in the hands of a dermatologist, it's in the hands of someone who wishes they were in the hands of a dermatologist. How could a patient at primary care be remotely seen by a dermatologist accurately and efficiently? So we've run three clinical trials to date, and each have been testing the sensitivity and specificity of our triage system. And what that basically means is how good are we at detecting skin cancer when it's actually skin cancer? And on the flip side, how good are we at saying that this patient does not need to be seen by a dermatologist when it's actually a benign condition? And our most recent study, we conducted with an academic partner in Massachusetts, and they ran a study that showed we had statistically significant sensitivity and specificity. So basically, we were on par with a in-person dermatologist, uh, which means you know the triage works. Since then, we've gone to market, we've implemented it in a number of health systems, uh, and we're now actively you know, triaging these patients. What's interesting about dermatology is that uh, there's a lot of need for dermatologists in rural areas. So that was kind of our original focus is, you know, rural parts of various states. But city access can sometimes be even worse just because there's so many patients that even if you have more dermatologists, it's not necessarily enough to cover. So we've definitely been, you know, exploring our options this year in terms of finding where the best market fit is.